Uh, Deputy Secretary Connor, um, in its Colorado River Basin study, the Bureau of Reclam Reclamation identified efficiency in conservation projects as some of the most cost-effective approaches to increasing available water supplies for users, in other words, actual wet delivered water. In New Mexico, the state is elected to pursue a new diversion project on the Gila River under the Arizona Water Settlements Act instead of focusing on efficiency projects that would help stretch existing water supplies further. As reclamation begins its review process with a, a value planning study this summer, uh, I'm wondering how will the lessons learned from the basin study factor into consideration of the costs and benefits of the various projects that could be pursued under the Settlement Act? Senator, I, I think in looking at, you know, obviously when we do our studies, one of the areas that we look at are alternatives uh, pr approaches. And as you've pointed out, I think that'll be something that uh, uh, does get scrutiny as to what are the water supply demands that are trying to be met by this project, uh, first of all, and then what are the options available to, to uh, meet that demand. I think overall, through our history and, and uh, in my prior capacity, I had the opportunity to spend a lot of time up here uh, testifying on water resources issues. One of the things I went back and looked at was what are the relative, you know, just back of the envelope calculations for the relative different types of projects that we have. Uh, there were a couple of large-scale storage projects uh, that I mentioned. One was the Black Rock Reservoir proposal, another one in California, the Auburn Dam. The cost per acre foot, just overall project cost versus yield, were somewhere in the neighborhood of you know seventeen thousand to forty-six thousand dollars per acre foot. Uh, you look at the Water Smart conservation proposals that we've got. Now, water conservation is not going to create a new supply for a new demand, mm -hmm. uh, but it certainly can lead to uh, saving water, be able to putting that in storage, uh, maintaining flexibility in the situation. Those are down from five hundred to eight hundred dollars per acre foot. Uh, the Title 16 water reuse projects that we have, uh, which have great drought resi resistant uh, aspects to them, they're you know they provide water in times of plenty as well as times of shortage. They're about eight thousand four hundred five hundred dollars uh, per acre foot. Uh, so it gives you the kind of range, and we've made investments. Uh, I think the water conservation. Uh, projects in the Yakima River Basin are something around $2,500 per acre foot, uh, and we did a major infrastructure improvement project in California, an inner tie between two canals, which resulted in about uh, 40,000 acre foot per year on average, and that was $850 per acre foot, cheapest water in the West. So we're making improvements that I think are adding to the bottom line of water availability. Uh, every project needs to be I, evaluated on its own merits, but it shows you the range and the differences. And the, quite frankly, what we found is we've got a lot of demand for these conservation and reuse programs because I think water managers, this is not a federal driven uh, program, uh, we've got the availability where we can participate, but we're getting uh, you know, applications on a yearly basis that greatly exceed the available resources because water managers view that as the best investment opportunity to, to yield water supply. In a lot of cases, much better than large storage. All right, thank you, and uh, I appreciate your focus on, you know, looking quite transparently at the um, the cost per acre foot and the yield of these individual pro uh, projects. I think that's incredibly important, um, given the the stress we're at west wide now. 